Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome back to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VII! Hey look, there's our car! So that must be Nibelheim. We have come a far, long way, and yet very little at the same time. Uh, so, we're here, and we're going... Uh, where, where are we going? That way, I guess? I mean, we'll, we'll see when I find it. I mean, I know where I'm going, just not where, if that makes sense. Oh, there it is. That's the place we're going. Also, I swapped out Vincent for Barrett. Because reasons. Actually, pretty straightforward reasons. Because... Because limit breaks. Also, I gave Barrett um, the enemy launcher. Which is a hilarious weapon. Uh, and also the counterattack materia. Because cover plus counterattack equals cool. Although, as I mentioned earlier, it is a combination you need to be a little bit careful with. Uh, it is something that can backfire quite easily. <laughs> At least depending on what you're doing. Like if you're trying to steal or get enemy skills. Anything like that. Counterattack. Well, Kenner Tag in general can backfire in that situation, but especially when it's combined with cover. Oh hey, we got a nut. Cool. So anyway, we're heading here. Welcome. To Rocket Town. I wonder why it's called that. Actually, though. Why, indeed. Let's go to the Weepon shop. Uh... Huh. I mean, I don't know if I'll necessarily use this, but I guess I may as well buy it. Uh, I could... Wait. I don't really need an earring. I could use a couple more of these, just so I don't need to juggle around equipment. Uh, let me think. Uh, yeah, that's plenty. That is plenty. Wait, no. Go back in. Do you have stuff? Show me your stuff. You don't have any stuff in your toilet. <laughs> no. Oh, hey! Here we go. You must have stuff. Give me your stuff. I can't seem to get into the back room there. Okay, you don't have any stuff. That is disappointing. Let's try the... You know, I probably should stay at the end, actually. My MP is quite low. Is that... Is that a pixelated Mona Lisa? Hmm. A hundred gil sounds quite reasonable. Now then, I'm pretty sure I saw a Shinra guy. Uh, yeah, that's like a Shinra guy in the bathroom, isn't it? Oh, I can see that. Oh no, it's not a Shinra guy, he just has blue hair. Okay then. Right, I think I'm done harassing him. El Capitan? You see a man with a black cape. The pirate lit when Shinra was still interested in their space program. Shinra, the electric company, was interested in going into outer space. For reasons that are not really well... They're, they're not really very clear. Let's... No, no, I haven't. Okay, then. Okay, now I'm done. Uh, still looking for stuff, though. The Weepon Shop failed me in this regard. Hopefully the inn will do better. So far, doesn't look like it. Oh, it's like two different rooms. Each of which seats five pe- well, seats. Ah, <laughs> sleeps. <laughs> sure. 
That's a verb, right? It is now, each of which sleeps five people. Uh, let's go talk to this old guy. Surely he's the captain, he's not. Uh, but I do want to talk to him. This used to be a Shinra base where they launched rockets. Number 28. No, 6. It's not an 8. Come on, dude. Uh... Yeah, let's take a look. Well, I will admit, it is a pretty cool looking rocket. Or at least it would be if it wasn't dilapidated to all hell. But! We got a sword for looking at the rocket with him. Which... It's a really powerful weapon, um... But it has no material. You know, I'll just show you. I will just show you. It is a weapon for Cloud. Sword, right? It is so powerful! And it gets even stronger if somebody, pa if a party member is KO'd. But it only has two slots, so we're not using it right now. Nope. Hello. Evidently not. Nope, nothing exciting ever happens here. You know, it's really it's actually really weird to me that all the houses in Rocket Town have toilets. Because that has not at all been the case in the houses we've barged into thus far. It's it looks really out of place here. Because it didn't happen like this anywhere else. I think this is the material shop. Item shop. Not really what I had in mind. Uh, all the- oh! Materia! I already have that, but not this or this. I should also do that and that. Definitely need more of these. I actually have the money, so I'm pissing it all- oh hey, I can buy you this now, so I'm pissing it all off on items, of course. Uh, let's see. That should be fine. The important thing is I have lots of high potions. Let's- uh, let's not- no, let's see. Is there- come on, I know there's stuff in this stupid town. Where is it? I mean, I got the one missable thing already. The sword, incidentally. If you don't get it now, you will not be able to get that sword. Uh, yeah. Right, uh, maybe I should just go see the freaking rocket. Yeah, okay. Okay, we're gonna go see the freaking rocket. You have to say it like that. Um... Oh, hey, actually, let's look at those two materials I bought before I forget. Uh, one of them was Barrier, which I'm probably not going to use because it is a pretty... I mean, it kind of hurts my defenses a lot. And I already have, um, what's it called? Uh, Mighty Guard? Which basically does the same thing as Wall. I guess, I guess I need this if I want Reflect. And then there's Exit! I have no idea what Remove does, but Escape is exactly what it sounds like. The, it is the power to run away! Actually, I feel like it should really be a, um... I feel like it should be a yellow one, rather than magic, but you know, whatever. Whatevs. Doesn't matter. No, what matters is we're climbing a rocket. Because... rockets. You know, I'm surprised this is still connected, considering how heavily this rocket is leaning. Okay, there's no, no one actually up here. But there is a door there. So I guess we'll be coming back here later. Right. Uh, I guess I do need to go to the houses, after all? Which is odd, I thought the person I was looking for actually was at the rocket. <laughs> Clearly my clearly I didn't remember well. Now I think this just loops around to Rocket Town again, but yeah it does. Okay. Let's try this one.
But ooh, it's a box! The drill arm. That is exactly what it sounds like. Yeah. Oh, this is a double weapon. Okay, then, in that case. I don't really need MP+. Plus. Hello? Wait. Yeah, this is fine. I just need to move. I need to swap these. No, no, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. There we go. Cover and counterattack and... Oh, I guess I won't have poison on my weep on anymore, but whatever. Whatever. <laughs> it's not important. Not like double growth is important. Although, having said that, having double growth cover is a little bit... I mean, I don't actually want cover to grow super quickly. But, well, whatever. Um, maybe I should give you o Odin as well, actually. Odin takes forever. But at the same time, I don't really want to inflict upon you 5% HP drop when you have cover. Mm, okay, yeah, no, this, this way is fine. Ooh, cool car. I wonder if it's Mako powered. Which, I gotta say, I still don't understand how the hell that works in the context of an automobile. Like, surely it just has a battery, right? Like, I don't know how- I don't understand how you would go about putting Mako into a car, is the thing. Like, presumably they do it with something like that with the reactors, but... Oh yeah, this thing is pretty cool. <laughs> oh, nothing! We're- yeah, we're, we're just looking at it. We're not going to steal it or anything. In the rocket. Wait, Shara? I'm pretty... I'm paired. Oh, but Avalanche! I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be Sheila. I'm just looking at that name. Phonetically... Phonetically, it would make a lot more sense if it's if it is intended to be Sheila and not Shara. Uh, and I could definitely see the translator screwing that up. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. So back into the rocket we go. Well, back to the rocket. I mean, we, we didn't go in the rocket the first time, so back to the rocket we go, into the rocket we go, there's no back in the in. Uh, yeah. I mean, that makes logical sense. It doesn't make much verbal sense. <laughs> Phonetically, it's a bit of a mess. Anyway, into the rocket! Oh, you know, there's the one house we didn't go into. Hello! What indeed. We heard the captain was here. The captain? I'm the captain! You can call me Sid. Sid don't need no sticking name gags. He's already Sid. Ahem, <laughs> the name? Wait. Let's see if I can do this right, because I, my gravelly voice should be like perfect for Sid. The name's Sid. Everyone calls me Captain, though. That doesn't seem quite right. It should be like a little more deep. Tell me about the rocket! Wow. Not bad for a kid. Alright. I'll explain it to you. No, that's too deep now. I haven't done this voice in a long time. You know... Whatever, I'll need to practice that. I don't feel like it. Oh, it was originally a weapons manufacturer. That suddenly makes a lot more sense. Although, I still don't understand why they wanted to put people into space. I mean, like... I understand why people would want to go into space. But for a profit-based company, there's not really much incentive there. 
I mean, so far as they're, they know, there's nothing up there. <laughs> I guess the moon is up there. And the sun. Well, there's... Eh. Anyway. And they chose the best pilot in the world. Me. I mean, come on. No one's as good a flyer as Sit as freaking Sit is. That's literally what my name is. Sid, the best flyer in the world, I win. And finally, we get to the day of the launch. Everything was going well. Oh, uh, that's sad. One failure. And then crushed. Okay, though, I don't understand how they were planning on profiting from space exploration. I mean... Right now, in current day of the real world, there is some potential profits in that via asteroid mining. But you sort of need to be in space first before you can understand that that is really a viable thing. And it's most profitable if you take the stuff you mine in space and then use it in space, because then you don't need to ship things through the freaking atmosphere. <laughs> okay then. His last hope is to talk to the president. I gotta be honest though, I don't think you should get your hopes up. He's kind of a huge dick. And yes, yes, I've met his father. So believe me when I say that my calling him a massive dick is saying something. Not only that, but he's a massive incompetent dick. I mean, his father was... Well, I can't... You know, I can't really call his father incompetent when he was going through with the Neo Midgar project. He still killed... He still killed literally a... How many seconds are in Midgar? Eight? He literally killed an eighth of his, of the most populous city in the world. World, all of whom were paying him like a lot of money for power, just to kill a few people who were raising the prices of power by blowing up his reactors. I mean, admittedly, blowing up his reactors wasn't really great, but for him, probably. But, I still maintain, there is absolutely no way at all that the damage that, um, that the damage that Avalanche did to the reactors could have possibly costed him more than the damage he inflicted to himself by dropping the Sector 7 plate. There's just no way. Sid is amazing. Also a little bit abusive to Sheila. Uh... Shut up! Sit down! Wait, no. Sit... Ah, I screwed it up. Sit down in these chairs and drink your goddamn tea! Something like that. I mean, I can't really get the volume on that to do it right. It's still a great line, though. I mean, I guess I could get the volume on it if I was willing to break my microphone, but... I'm not shouting into my microphone. <laughs> not intentionally, anyway. He's always like this. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I bet. Being careful is good, but no matter how many times you check that oxygen tank, it won't matter. That thing wouldn't break even if hell froze over. 
You're not stupid. Be more efficient. I like how it's still rusty in the flashback. <laughs> I guess they didn't have the budget for two matte paintings. Yeah, I mean, you should. I mean, even if Shinra is run by a bun bunch of greedy, incompetent assholes, it's still a momentous occasion. Leave it to me. I'll be back in a few. To outer space. To the moon. Actually, probably not to the moon. Uh, going into space is probably a better goal. It's a better first step than to the moon. Like, thing, when you have to land and take off from an interplanetary body, it adds a lot of complications to the whole experience. This is a huge cockpit! Wow! Like, wow. Huh. Okay. She is very stoic. She's going to die. Okay, I gotta say, this is a very poorly designed rocket if they can't halt the launching sequence before they have started the launching sequence. Like, really amazingly poor, poor design. It kind of, kind of blows the mind type bad. Well, there's only, I guess there's really only one choice, Sid. Blast off. Or not. And that is how Rocket Town got its name. Uh, yeah. Also, well, I'll, I'll finish. Hmm. I mean, I mean, <laughs> it is sort of your fault, but also not. Yeah, Sheila, you better serve us that goddamn tea. Uh... <laughs> You better do what the man says, I think. Okay, that is not Rufus. That is the most incompetent of the lot. Actually, no, I think... He, honestly, I think him and Scarlet are about on equal footing in that regard. Um, because credit where it's due, while Rufus is indeed an incompetent leader, his underlings are even more incompetent than he is. Well, some of them, anyway. <laughs> when indeed. 
<laughs> Lard. This guy. Don't forget the lot man. Palmer. You are awful. I think I want this door. Hmm? What did he come here? What? So, you want to steal his plane because... Because... Reasons. What a fucking asshole! <laughs> yep, I did. Palmer was go Palmer was gonna try to steal it while he was distracted. The head of the space program. How's that been going for you, dude? We'll be taking the tiny Bronco. Not you, Palmer. Guess what, Palmer? You don't stand a ghost of a chance. You know that pun doesn't really work here. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure you follow boss logic and cannot be stolen from. Oh, but I can sure as hell do this. Right, I am going to... Did I forget to put Barrett on the front row? No, he looks like he's on the front row. Well, okay then. You missed. Uh, let's use trying. But yeah, Palmer is a huge pushover. He is a... B okay, well, for some reason it can't hit me. Hit him, but... Nonetheless, he is a big one-trick pony, and that one trick is his back gun, and it's not even a very good trick. Okay, Cloud is definitely- no, Baird is totally on the back row. I'm going to cut your ass off, and then show it to you, just so you know what it's like to be mooned by yourself. You bastard. I am sorely tempted, but no. Let's see... Let's go- let's use Flamethrower. I mean, I can pretty much just dick around and use whatever I want. He is so no threat to me. Uh, sure! I think you're even weak against that one, actually. Uh, I don't think laser will work, but let's try it. Ah! Uh, nope, laser did not work. He's immune to it. I mean, I was sort of expecting, so. Pushover or not, he is still a boss. Which is also why we are never going to get the sword at Kingston. One of these days, one of these days, I'll get the damn sword. At least once. I mean, that probably did the most damage. So... Tifa's still taking so much damage, though. Nope. No, you, you missed Barret. You're, you're supposed to drill him in the face. Why is he so damn hard to hit, actually? It's weird. Hmm. Oh! 
the plane seems to have taken off. Near he nearly got propellered. And he ran away. <laughs> that is the best! He got run over by a Shinra truck. Oh, yeah. that is so good. Oh, hey, Chocobo Mog leveled up. And I got an Eden coat, which is armor. Man, we have ended up accidentally stealing the tiny Bronco. I mean, it was sort of our attention from the beginning anyway, but... But we were going to ask for permission before we took it, just never really got the opportunity. You'll never get my plane! <laughs> <laughs> and that's what Sid sounds like right now, except gravelier. And probably louder. <laughs> so, I cannot help but notice that no one is actually in the pilot seat. Well, that flight was short-lived. Fortunately, we are on a plane that floats. I'm not sure why. It's clearly not a water plane. It has, uh, it has wheels. But... Sid is just so depressed. They've, ru they've ruined his one remaining joy. He's given up on town. Wait, is Sheila his wife? No, Sheila is not his wife. Basically, I mean, she's basically his wife, but they're not married, so... What the hell? I don't have anything better to do. Basically. <laughs> Sid is just great. So, we're not going straight there. We have a boat! How to fly, air quotes, the tiny Bronco. So, you notice it says it can cross shallow waters and rivers. In other words, it cannot go into the deep ocean. Huzzah! So, anyway, we're gonna leave off here. Ooh, cool. Join me next time when we do stuff. Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VII with Chaos Blue, and have a great day. Bye!